Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to build your first SharePoint connected power app. To do that, you will be in the modern UI in the SharePoint site. And here I have created a SharePoint list. As you see, it's a list of projects. And these projects have a bunch of metadata. They have a title, they have a status, they have a state, a region, a bunch of money, approved budget, stuff like that. I'm gonna now create a Power App for it. And the reason I'm doing that is that I want my users to be able to interact with this data in a mobile device, for example. And there is, of course, a Power App app that you can install on your mobile device that will allow you to interact directly with the data sources. The data source in this case is this SharePoint list. So I'm going to create a Power App which is connected to this SharePoint list. To do that, I'm going to click this Create Map, call this PA Projects, like that. Create, PA for Power Apps, of course. Now it's creating this Power App. It's creating the screens that I need and it's creating the data connection. Now I can go in and modify that. First of all, we're gonna see how it works and what it does for me. It's gonna take a few seconds to build my app. There you see the screens coming up. There's a browse screen, and there's a detail screen and an edit screen. There we go. I'm gonna skip the tour for now. This is the Power Apps Studio. And um, let's zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on. Here is the browse screen where I browse through all my projects. And then there's the detail screen, which shows me the details for one project. And then the edit screen, which allows me to edit that one project that I've selected. So let's play this and see how it works. As you see, it looks very mobile friendly. I can search, I can browse, I can go into a specific item here. And I can also edit or delete that item also. When I go in edit mode, all the drop downs works as, as they should, and uh, I can make changes. All right, I'm not gonna make that change now. As you see, it's a very mobile friendly environment. I have found some issues though that I don't really like. As you see, these, um, uh, the browse screen is not actually working as I should. It's taken the fields in alphabetical order and put these on here. So if I look at the title field, up there, you see that it's actually showing me the community, which is not what I want. I wanted to display the title, so I'm gonna type that in instead. There we go, so now it's showing the title. The subtitle is showing me the compliant compliance asset ID, which is not what I want. I want the status of that project. And the status is a choice field, so I need to make sure that I pick the value of that field. There you go, that one is canceled, good. Uh, and then the third one can be as it is, the, fun uh, the funding recipient, that's fine. And uh, it's also the same with the browse gallery here that you see it's, it's filtering and um, searching on the community field, which is not what I want. I wanted to use the title field because that is more relevant. So I'm gonna change the community to the title there. So that means I'll be able to search through these. All right. Let's try that out now. And as you see, it's showing me the projects by title now. Let's play this again. And if I search now for um, action, you see that that uh, does indeed work like that. Good, and I remove the search again, and it's showing me all of them. Good, all right. Uh, final thing that I want to do is to modify and add some conditional formatting. That's always a nice thing to have, and it's been rather difficult to do in SharePoint before. So let's show that. As you see, this title field now is showing up the text there, and I can also change the properties, all kinds of things here. For example, I can select the color. Let's go into the color of this project there, and you see it's showing me an RGB code for the title, and that's fine, but I wanna modify that and put an if statement here. This is very much like an Excel formula. I wanna check if this item, status, value equals canceled. In that case, I'm gonna show red. Otherwise, I'll show this predefined RGBA code. There you go. Now you see that one is canceled, so it's showing up in red. The other one that's in on hold is still in its original color. So that's how it should be. Let's play this now. 
And as you see, the canceled ones are showing up in red. So we have modified the uh, browse screen and we've done some conditional formatting. And now I'm rather happy with this app. So now uh, this is saved now. Everything gets saved automatically as soon as you make a change, but it's unpublished. So I'm going to go in and click on file and save here. And just save it. And when, once I've manually gone in and saved it, then I can publish this version. Publish this version. Very good. And now this project will be available for everyone that I've shared it with. I'm going to do that too. I'm going to share it with everyone in the organization. Let's do that so that everyone can use this app. Of course, the SharePoint uh, list item also applies. Uh, add everyone in my organization. And I don't want to send an email about that. I could, of course, but I'm going to save that. There we go. Now it's published and shared with everyone. Now I can go back and um, click on the projects list here. And now under all items here under the views selector, I can select this PA projects here. I'll open that. And you see it goes directly into my web player for this app. And I can interact with it like that. So that shows you how to build your first SharePoint connected power app. Thank you for watching this demonstration.